useful to talk in more detail about the bridge polygon tool. Um, so I'm going to add some some sort of oil tank up here. So and I'm going to use just for fun uh, the extended primitives, and I can choose an oil tank. So let's do that. So um, I'm going to top view um, and drag this out, drag up. And change that to maybe that kind of thing like that. Drag into place, that will do. Change the isolation mode. And then let's just tidy this up a bit. Something like that. Clone it. To a copy. So what I want to do is attach something like this to this. Uh, so what I need to do is match something like the radius. And um, I want it to have eight sides. Because if you count here, we've got one, two, three, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices around these four squares here, which is what I'm going to use. So let's just even that out a bit. So these four squares, in fact. And make that a little smaller. Look at that. All right, that'll do. So now I can attach these guys together. So let's turn that into a little poly. Attach the other orbit. Touch that one. Oops, not that one, that one. And I'll cap that. Okay, so this is my starting point. And let's just drag that over there so we can use that later. So the the bridge tool uh, appears in a variety of sub-objects. So it doesn't appear in vertices or elements, but it does appear in faces and borders and edges. And they kind of all work in a similar ways, but you do get some bonus features in polygons, so let's talk about that. So you can bridge between two selected polygons. So let's select two, like this, and then we can bridge, and I'll drill a hole between them. You can select between uneven selections, bridge it, and it will tend to sort it out for you, something like that. Um, what I want to do here is bridge between this and this. So let's just do that. Like that. And then I can drag that into shape and sh start working on it. Uh, there's also a dialogue, so we can look at tweaking things. So we have a number of segments. We can play with like taperings if we want to uh, adjust the bias of that tapering. Right, the smoothing group threshold up. Uh, and oh yeah, so if you get into if there's like the edge ordering is out, then we can adjust the twist a bit like this. So we can tweak these two things until we get a result we're happy with. Uh, um, there's also a tool for. Um, picking individual polygons and then bridging them, so uh, which I never use, but we can do it like this. So you select one polygon here, and then click on that, and select another polygon there, and it will bridge that like that. Um, that's a pain in the butt to use, and I never do it. So uh, let's use um, polygon selection again. Go back, uh, turn off twist. There we go. So that is one way of using the tool. Let's take that. And you can see I'm going for some sort of uh, oil tank with, uh, I don't know what this is, like inspection hatch or something on it. Just grow those. And then let's just reposition that in the center. There. 
and I'll fix that up with edge later and stuff. So the other way of using it is like this. Go to edge mode. So let's delete that and then delete these four polygons. One, two, three, four. That'll do. Um, so we can use borders. So we can select this border and this border and do bridge like that. Uh, we come in through edges. Um, so when we're in edge mode, we've got two ways of doing it. We can do this, then we press bridge and we'll bridge those two like that. We can also activate the bridge tool and then click on edges like this, there to there, and you can see we get to drag out a line like that. Um, if we're in border mode, uh, so we select all those edges, and we can't bridge that by itself because it doesn't know what to do. But if we f f uh, go back to edge mode like this, we can just quickly deselect these two Go out of bridge mode first, right click, deselect those. And now if you do bridge, we've got an even number of edges on each side and it'll bridge it for us like that. And that's quite useful too. So there you have it. Um, that's the bridge tool. I just have to go and sort out my edge loops now and add two of those pieces.